Hey fam, welcome back to Terry's Lifestyle and Vlog and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the UK government's plan to reduce the number of foreign students coming to the UK as well as the number of dependent visas that are given to the families of these uh, students as well okay but before i go on if this is your first time of coming to my channel and you like videos like this then please subscribe turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward i would like to introduce myself my name is tare and i talk about uk visas and immigration i talk about life in the uk how to successfully and safely navigate through life as an immigrant living in the uk and to my returning subscribers i want to say thank you and welcome back to my channel i appreciate you for always coming back to watch my videos thank you all so much so there are a number of reasons why the uk is thinking of reducing net migration and um, into the uk people that are coming into the uk minus those that are going out there's a lot of reasons so one of the argument is that the, it's having a lot of impact on the social amenities so it's putting a lot of pressure on the, the, the public facilities the social amenities that are available to the citizens or the people in the UK for instance the transport industry so you get a lot of people using the transport system compared to when people are not there you have a lot of people using the hospital so the, the, the health sector a lot of people put a lot of pressure because when people are coming from their countries you can't tell them not to be unwell you never can tell someone you never know know when someone will be unwell so a lot of people are having to go to the hospital a lot of people are using the health uh, facilities even more for instance I, I had a friend that had just come into the UK as a student and she went to register um, with the with the doctor as the general practitioner and it took about three to four weeks before she could get an appointment to see a doctor okay so these are the kind of things that we're talking about a lot of people are having to use the the health sector a lot of people are having to use the the hospitals therefore people are having to wait even longer and to get an appointment to see a doctor to be registered and things like that okay another very um, important part that is being that a lot of pressure is on as well is the housing okay so how many people can you bring in how many housing can you uh, can you have to, to to accommodate people so that's one one area that is experiencing a lot of pressure students are coming in and they're not able to find houses and i've seen this um, myself I've, I've i've seen people struggling to get houses people have asked me if i know someone or if i know if i can accommodate people in my house and things like that because the housing is not enough to go around so a lot of people are struggling and to be honest uh, anyone will be concerned if you are the governor or the president or the prime minister of a country you will be concerned with these things okay but again they need to before they can make any decision they have to put everything on the balance of probability because if they stop students from coming in how is it going to impact on the economy okay so how is it going to impact on the health on the education sector we know that these students or foreign students and independents a lot of them work in in the health sector so how is it going to affect the, the health sector as well so they need to put it into into consideration and balance it on probability so that they don't make a decision um, that would actually affect the economy even worse than it already is okay so tough decisions i'm glad i'm not the one I'm making it but yeah you go another reason they're wanting to uh, reduce the number of students is because before brexit a lot of europeans came to the uk um, to do seasonal jobs like work in farms, work in the factories and things like that. But now that Brexit is gone, they've gone to their own countries. International students are coming into the UK, but they are not taking up those jobs, which means that that area, that industry is still struggling and to find employees to do those jobs, which are really, really important. Okay, however, we know that international students are doing other jobs, um, but not in the the sector that that are really struggling okay so those are just some of the reasons why um the uk is wanting to reduce the number of uh, students that are coming reduce net migration generally and they've said that they need to put a concrete plan in place a long-term plan in place because if they were to reduce it not only would it affect the university themselves it might affect the economy because we know that the uk economy is struggling even in driving in, in the driving industry there's a lot of struggle because again the europeans have left that used to drive the car the, the lorries the buses and the rest and they are now struggling so if you stop the international student the economy will even crumble even more and begin to struggle even more okay so there's a lot of discussions like i said going on and whether this will be, be coming to effect 
and we don't know what about the school for children as well so people that come to the uk on dependent visas bring their children on dependent visas those children will definitely need to go to school so that's another area that has been impacted massively by this net migration well i hope this video has been helpful if it has helped you give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video